future. Here's a sad fact of life. We're all going to experience heartache at some point. You may be going through a difficult time right now, and if you are, know that I'm here for you. As much as a floating voice can be here for you, but still, it's true. When you hit these lows though, there's no point moping around. Take a few days sure, but after that it's time to get back to kicking ass and taking names. You know the best way to do that? Music. Better still, listen to tracks that basically say, screw you person who jilted me, I don't need you, and take those words deep down into your soul. Use the healing power of song to rise back up and get your swagger back. I'm Simon from What Culture, and this is the 10 greatest empowering breakup songs. Number 10, already gone by the Eagles. In case you don't know, the Eagles are one of the best bands ever. It may have been played to death, but Hotel California is up there with the greatest thing anyone has ever done. Imagine you wrote that. You could walk around naked forever, and no one would say anything, because you could literally do whatever you wanted, because you're the guy that wrote Hotel California. They also knew how to make you feel pretty good after a fall. Featured on the 1974 album On The Border, Already Gone was their first single and peaked at number 32 on the Billboard Hot 100. That doesn't matter though. What does is that this is classic rock done right and it's completely focused on leaving someone behind because you knew they were going to leave you anyway. It even has the lyrics, then you'll have to eat your lunch all by yourself. Nice and direct. You enjoy that damn sandwich. Number 9, The Pretender by The Foo Fighters. I'm not even the biggest Foo Fighters fan and even I think The Pretender is awesome. Written at the very end of their sessions for the Echo, Silence, Patience and Grace album, it even won a Grammy for Best Hard Rock Performance. That means it's gotta be good. Lead singer Dave Grohl has held back on completely explaining what it means, but he did say it has something to do with feeling screwed over and not getting what you were promised. Ultimately, it's about a person who's a great actor, or pretender, and they get everything they want. Sounds like a breakup, right? After one of those, it can often feel like you've got the short end of the stick while your partner continues to have a blast. So when it's all wrapped up, this song is that person. But listen to the words. Dave shouts, what if I say, I will never surrender. It's a tune about not backing down and doing what's right for you. So use those lyrics to set yourself free. Number eight, I'm Not Your Stepping Stone by The Monkees. One of the most 1960s songs you're ever likely to hear, this was originally recorded by Paul Revere and The Raiders, but after The Monkees covered it, it became a proper hit. It was quite the change for the band as well, who are known more for their upbeat, happy, clappy tunes, but that's why this works so well. It breaks from the norm and focuses on some girl that has become obsessed with fame and fobbed off her partner. All right, and what's the message? Well, the title makes that clear. None of the monkeys are this person's stepping stone, and neither should you be. Don't let anyone walk all over you. Stand tall and be true. You got this, pal. Number seven, Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine. Personally, I think Florence and the Machine are really, really weird. But still, that doesn't mean we can't take meaning away from these songs, especially when the album it featured on, Lungs, won all the awards when it was released. And I mean all of them. Again, not specifically about a breakup. It does talk about the dog days being over after being knocked back by an undetermined event. And again, this is what the end of a relationship is. Most people feel like garbage when one of these breaks down, even when it's for the best. So knowing you're coming out the other end is lovely. You can just imagine driving down the highway on a summer's day, the windows down, and this blaring out into the sunshine. You'll be annoying everyone else, but who cares? You're headed back to the top. Number six, You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette. Coming straight from her Jagged Little Pill album, Morissette, as she was with many of her songs, wouldn't say a damn thing about what this meant or who it was about. They were written for the sake of personal expression, in her own words, but that doesn't mean we can't extrapolate what she's getting at. And clearly that is straight up the, I'm angry at my ex-partner and I'm gonna be really mad about it. I mean, the first lyric is, I want you to know I'm happy for you, I wish nothing but the best for the both of you. And then she starts going on about oral sex, I think. But the point is, Alanis is literally yelling at her former partner with their new squeeze. We can all understand that. And this is like a release as you join in with Alanis to tell your ex-partner to go to hell. Number five, So What by Pink. So secretly, this is one of the most annoying songs of all time, but that aside, it's pretty good if you want to feel like you've got some backup after a breakup. Written after Pink's separation from husband Carrie Hart, it's hard to know if she still feels this way today because they got back together afterwards, but still. She's very to the point with everything though, saying in it she doesn't care that they broke up, she's having more fun now anyway, and she's better off without him. It's the perfect way to lift yourself up a touch after feeling like you've been screwed over. Just remember that if you do reunite after penning a song about someone, and that song was about how much you didn't like them, well, that could be awkward. 
Number 4, I'm Still Standing by Elton John Some songs just stand the test of time, and this classic by Elton John is definitely one of those. Lifted from album Too Low For Zero that came out in 1983, it's both empowering and catchy. It's a nice mix. Get a little bit of everything. And you don't need much of an explanation from me about what Elton is going on about. He recounts all the troubles he's had with his partner, but ends it constantly by saying he's still standing. He's not going to let this breakup get him down, he's going to pick himself up and keep going. How can you not be inspired by that? He also calls his former lover a clown. There's loads to use here. Number 3, Forget You by CeeLo Green This song became so popular that eventually you wanted to rip off your own face just so you wouldn't have to suffer through it again. There's a reason for that, it spoke to people. Or they just enjoyed the beat. One of the, two. the root of this song is about someone that's so egotistical they only care about themselves though. We all know people like that. Hell, we've dated them too, so when CeeLo sings I pity the fool who falls in love with you, it's a pump your fist moment as you move on from your own heartache. There's also an uncensored version if you want to get proper aggressive about everything. You can drop some f-bombs and then start getting things back on track. Number 2, I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor One of the most famous songs ever, proved by the fact it was released in 1978 and can still be heard on the radio today, it's all about celebrating your future and forgetting about your past and not letting anyone, especially your ex, get in the way. That's the whole reason this exists. It's meant to make you feel better about yourself and remind you that everyone goes through struggles, but you will survive. You'll come out the other side and you'll be a better and a stronger person. If you do need some help getting there though, Gloria will sing you to victory. And that ain't no bad thing. Number 1, I Found a Boy by Adele one of Adele's songs that somehow isn't known by everyone on the planet, Adele takes a different approach to the empowering breakup tune by focusing on what comes next. In it, she's found a new man, and this man is even better than the man she had before, so now she feels better than ever. Doesn't matter what anyone from her past does now. This whole situation has given her a new strength and reminded her what life is all about. She's happy, even after some struggles beforehand. The key, however, is that she just doesn't need this person anymore, despite that not being true at one point in her life. And you can use that and bring yourself back to where you need to be. And that will be lovely, and I know you can get there. Know of any other empowering breakup songs? Let us know in the comments below, and then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can even come tell me on Twitter, SimonMiller316, or tell What Culture at What Culture. I am Simon from What Culture, and my breakup song of choice is Master of Puppets. Master, master. <laughs>